Hey guys, Sonny Carter here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to break through your past and transform your marriage and your relationship. Uh, because a lot of the issues that we have in our relationship, in our life, in our marriage has a lot to do with our past, our upbringing, what we've experienced, what we've done, what we've seen, what's been done to us, and, um, and causes a lot of these issues in our relationship. And so, in order to have a transformation in our marriage, we have to have breakthroughs from our past. Now I'll share with you a personal story from my background because um, I grew up with a single mom um, with two brothers and she worked you know, her tail off to take care of us. She worked um, three jobs and we were home a lot. <clears throat> um, my dad left my mom when she was pregnant with me. Uh, sorry, with my, for my mom. Yeah, when she was pregnant with me. And, um, and basically, you know, it was just me and my brothers and it was tough. Like it wasn't an easy, um, environment to grow up in. Um, I didn't have that emotional nourishment that I needed as a child. And, um, there was a lot of alcohol abuse as well and emotional and physical abuse. So a lot of stuff happened in my past that really quite frankly, just messed me up as I got older and the stuff that, um, the core messages and the beliefs. Um, messages about abandonment and beliefs about people who love me will eventually leave me or not care for me and support me. All that stuff that I had struggled with from the past, um, at growing up, came from the past. And it seeped into my marriage, it seeped into everything, everything that I, every area of my life, um, these core messages was dominating. And it wasn't until I had to really look in the mirror and say, you know, why am I, why am I doing the things that I do? Why, why do I get sad sometimes? for no reason. Why do I get depressed or fearful or anxious when my wife says she's going to be gone for the day? Um, <clears throat> why am I so controlling? Why, you know, like I, I had to look at myself in the mirror and ask myself, why do I behave the way I do? And a lot of it had to do with me going back to my past and really uncovering um, the stories that I was telling myself, the core messages that were implanted in the back of my mind like a chip. Um, that came from my past, um, my past childhood that caused me to see the world a certain way, caused me to do certain things a certain way, um, to treat people a certain way, caused me to mistrust, it caused me to feel defective, not good enough, insecure, anxious, um, it caused me to feel inferior to other people, and all this stuff was affecting my life. And, and the hard thing is, and the hard truth is, is that a lot of people like me like I was, didn't know that this even existed in my life. And it was just running my life. It was causing me just to do things. It was causing me to have bad relationships. Um, it was causing me to, it was affecting my mental state, my emotional state. And so, um, so to transform, a lot of the transformation that occurs, you know, occurs with us going back to our past and understanding our makeup, okay? Our emotional makeup, our mental makeup. Um, you know, a lot of people like to get into genetic makeup, right? Um, and that part of it is temperament, you know, as well, but a lot of it has to do with the emotional and mental makeup that was created from when we were younger, from the things that happened to us, the experiences that we've had, the things that we've seen, um, and what we modeled after, um, and also the things that we didn't want in our lives based on what we've seen and modeled or experienced. And so, um, you know, there's a, a lot of training, right? A lot of marriage courses going on out there teaching about communication, how to better conflict resolution, how to better, you know, um, <clears throat> how to better intimacy and sex. And I know a lot of stuff is good. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can benefit from a lot of those trainings, but those issues will continue to happen and it will be ongoing and there will continue to be negative cycles in any relationship um, if we don't deal with the root source. The root source of of why we do what we do, why we get triggered, of why of why the negative, harmful behaviors happen in our marriage, and so we have to break through our past. We have to be able to go there, even if it's tough. Like we have to journal, we have to write down the things that we feel. We have to be willing to cry, we have to be willing to laugh. To we have to be willing to, you know, talk to people about it, especially our spouses. Right? That's that's the part of building a deep connection with your spouses. Being vulnerable, with, being vulnerable with them. I mean, it was hard for me. Like, when I had to talk to my wife about the things that I, I started noticing about myself, it was hard. Like, I was, I felt, ex, 
exposed. I felt vulnerable. I felt like just embarrassed, right? To tell her like all the things I've been through as a child. And, um, but you know, to my surprise, not really to my surprise, but you know, what my man was telling me was not true, was that my wife was gonna support me. Like she was gonna love me. She was gonna listen to me. And she did, you know, she listened, she loved me. She supported me, she helped me. And most importantly, she built a deeper connection and bond with me because before I used to keep these things close to my chest. I used to hide my my weaknesses. I used to try and be vul not be vulnerable because I didn't want to feel weak, right? And that's a lot of men, we do that. Um, but my wife connected with me at a whole new level when I started to do those things and I started to do a lot of self-discovery, started to share, share my journal with her and I still do to this day. I would write down stuff that I'm learning about myself in my journal and I just sit down at night before we go to bed and open my journal and start reading it to her word for word. And um, and she just, she, she connects with me at an emotional level when I do that. And so, so for you, like, you know, to transform your marriage, transform your relationship, you can't just improve communication. You can't just, that's not good enough. You can't just, oh, okay, I'm going to do this tactic and this strategy to improve my sex life, improve my intimacy. And look, some of these tactics may work and may be good, but if you, if you want long-term transformation, if you want long-term change, long-term happiness in your marriage, then you have to deal with the things that cause habitual negative harmful cycles. You have to get to the root source of why there's communication, communication issues, the root source of why there's um, intimacy and, and issues with sex, the root source of why there's com destructive conflict, right? And a lot of the root source, again, has to do with our past. And so we got to be willing to, to roll up our sleeves, get our hands dirty, and um, be willing to, um, to really understand ourselves in a whole new level so we can cause transformation in our personal lives and in our relationships and just see ourselves in the world in a different way. Because the reason why things are not the way they, we want them to be a lot of times is because stuff going on in the inside of us, right? It's our inner world that creates the stuff in our outer world, right? It's like trees, you look at the roots, you can't see them, but you see what's outside of the roots, right? You see the plants. You can tell how healthy a tree, how healthy the tree is by looking at the outside. But if you look at the inside, the roots, that's the cause of the problem. It's the roots, that's the issue, okay? So if a, if a plant's not doing well, you know it's because you have to feed the roots the right things. And a lot of times, a lot of stuff in my world wasn't going right outside of me is because the inside of me wasn't going right. But we like to blame outside circumstances. That's the first thing we do. We blame our wife, we blame our girlfriend, we, we point fingers at this person or that person, we, we, we try to play the victim and we justify everything outside of us. But it's our inner world that creates our outer world. It's our inner struggles that creates our outer problems. And so we have to be willing to, um, to, to look ourselves in the mirror, be willing to reflect on our past, understand how our past created who we are today, and then make that change. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you got value from this. Um, what golden nuggets, if any, did you get from it? And, um, and we'll be putting out more videos like this and other videos as well so that we can really just you know, transform marriages. That's our movement. We just want to change the world. We want to um, literally decrease the divorce rate in this country uh, and in the world. That's, that's our vision. That's how big we're thinking. And uh, if you want to be a part of this community, a part of this tribe, if you want to help us to transform marriages, and, um, and really just transform not just marriages, but lives, because it's all about breaking those, uh, those barriers, those mental and emotional barriers that stop us from having the relationship, the life that we were destined to have, that we were meant to have. And so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.